Let me explain to you about serious music. What most people regard as serious music is not really that serious at all. See, there's been a lot of propaganda about classical music since it was first invented. Let's examine the history of classical music briefly, and then you'll see what I'm talking about. When all the music that people regard as great masterpieces today were written for the amusement of kings, churches, or dictators. That's who was paying the rent. If the man who wrote the music happened to be working in a style that was appealing to the person who was paying for it at that time, he had a hit, he had a job, and he stayed alive. If he didn't, and he, he was could a lose his, well. That's right. He could lose his fingers, he could lose his head, he could be exiled, or he'd starve to death. But there was very little in between. All you have to do is look at a book called Grove's Dictionary of Music and Musicians, and you can see that throughout the ages, there have been guys who had hits and guys who didn't have hits, and it's not necessarily connected to the quality of what they wrote. It's connected to how well they pleased the patron that was paying the freight, and it's the same thing today. So, the, all the norms, the acceptable norms of classical music, are really the taste norms of the church, the king, or the dictator that has been paying for it down through the ages. It's not, it was not the taste of the people. People never got to decide. So, when you say I have uh, more of an interest in serious music, I, I take my work seriously, but I perceive it as entertainment and it's entertainment for those people who like that sort of entertainment. I don't write for a king. I don't write for a church. Mm -hmm. I don't write for a government. I write for my friends. And that's the way the, the material should be perceived. It's, it's entertainment for them. So, uh, well, Even if it's written for an orchestra, mm -hmm. or it's written for a rock and roll band, it makes no difference. It's the same people who would listen to the music. I have several orchestral albums, okay? Those are not purchased by people who rock by the tours on New World Symphony. They're bought by rock and roll consumers. A special type of rock and roll consumer. So in other words, the biography...
Una bonita mañana, en un pueblo muy delicado, un hombre y una mujer maravillosos gritaban en la pública plaza. Mis amigos, yo quiero que sea reina. Quiero ser reina, ella reía y temblaba. Él hablaba a sus amigos de revelación, de prueba terminada. Él se tomé una contra el otro. Y claro que fueron reyes durante toda una mañana donde las contundentes cortinas color carmín se revelaban sobre las casas. Y toda la tarde, donde avanzaban hacia el lado del jardín de las palmas,
that's the way I do my business. So if there's something wrong with that, then let me know. I mean, you, 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 the results speak for themselves. Yes.